This video will walk you through how you can invite your team to your workspace and assign them granular role-based access control for accessing the data in your projects. This involves two steps. First, inviting someone with a specific role. Let's say you have a bunch of different teams in your organization. Say, for example, developers, marketing, operations, and so on. You can create a role for each of these teams on the workspace level. To do this, go to your workspace settings and under Members section, you can invite a user with a role. You can either use one of the predefined roles or create your own. One thing to note here is that the admin role is a special one. It has full access to your workspace, which means your admin users can create projects, invite other team members, and can fully manage the data in your tables. Okay, so let's create a new role called Marketing and invite a new team member with that role. The second step is to define which projects and tables under a given workspace this marketing role has access to and what data permissions they get. To do this, for every table in your project, under the table settings, you can control which roles have access to it. By default, when you create a table, only the admin role can manage the table's data. Now suppose I want marketing team to be able to access this table. I can add the role to the access list. And I can also select which marketing team should be able to only view the data or be able to also edit it. Based on your selection, you will see the suggested Firestore rule. You can also add this rule to your Firebase project by using the linked direct console access button. Add the rule and click publish. That's it. Now when the invited marketing team member comes in, they will only be able to see the project and table under the invited workspace that the marketing role has access to. They can view, edit, and update the data according to the rules that you have set.